Hey guys, I'm Chitendra Chaurasia. Welcome to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how can you create an animated comparison slide just like this. So here I'm comparing a three task, which is task one, task two, and task three. So the moment you press uh, arrow key on your keyboard, you'll notice task one is completed by 75%. The task two is completed by 85%. And the task three is completed by 98%. So I hope you like this presentation uh, that's what the concern of today's tutorial. So without any further delay, let me just start the tutorial. For the ease, I will take a new slide here itself and I'll change this layout to blank. So, so that it will be easier to navigate through the previous work that I've shown you. So uh, let me just take a uh, text box here and uh, let me write the title here. Animated Comparison Slide Design. Let's change the name a bit. I will change the text uh, alignment to center and the font which I have used uh, in the sample that I have shown you is uh, uh, it's called Monteserrat. So that here we go. Uh, let, let, let me just make it bold and uh, come to format option and align it to center and make sure when you are clicking the center you are aligning it to slide. Now I am hoping this uh, title uh, text size looks a little smaller so let me just uh, bump it up a little bit yeah this looks fine and the color of the text is exactly black which i i really not prefer anytime so i'll just take uh, something like which is 85 percent black or 15 percent lighter so now you can uh, see the difference of the color here so similar way i'll press ctrl and drag it Okay, so uh, it is similar to doing Control C and Control V. So that's a shortcut. So you can press Control on the keyboard and drag it. Next, I'm going to change the color. Uh, did this red? Oh, oops, not the shape fill, but the text fill color. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just reducing the size. Uh, say task one. Uh, let me just reduce the text box size. Yeah, this looks fine to me and I'm going to change the text alignment to left and uh, let me just again do control and drag it and changing the font to the similar kind of color and I'll remove the bold and you can just type in some uh, some indicating text that you want to show off. So let me just take the sample text from uh, my previous work. So I'll just paste it over here. And I will drag it a little bit above so that it's closer to that. So our text is done. So let me just create a couple of more. So I'll select both and I'll press Ctrl G to group it. And again, once again, I'll press Ctrl D and I will put it somewhere here. And once again, I'll press Ctrl D. So with that, you will uh, get a copy with exactly the same uh, transformation that you've done before. I'm changing the font color to uh, uh, this green color and the third one I'm taking uh, blue so you can take from here I'm keeping the text uh, underlying subtext to be the same and let me just quickly change this to 3 and this to 2 so let me just compare so you can see uh, we are almost done and uh, the part left is called uh, for the animation so what I'm going to do is I'll take a rectangle here and let's say we'll go till here and I will reduce its thickness it's fine so this is my bar and since I'm using a white background I'll just keep a shape fill very close to white so that it doesn't look uh, too odd okay and uh, coming up to the shape outline I will click no outline because I don't want any outline to be there Control C, Control V once again to get a copy. And uh, what I'm going to do is I will reduce its size slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm pressing Control and I'm dragging it down so that it reduces equally on both the sides. Okay. So let me just uh, fill in some dark color or the same color, the slider, and let me just zoom in here. So you can see when I'm increasing, it's increasing uh, in the both in both the directions. So this looks fine. So now we are good to go to animate this. For that, let's select this red color rectangle. Press shift on the keyboard 
and we'll bring it until the end touches uh, somewhere here now we are going to uh, we are coming to animation and what animation we are giving we are giving it lines now lines what it does it uh, it is actually following this line so this is green color indicates its initial position and the red color indicates its final position but for our case this is our initial position and we want it to come somewhere here for the final position so i will drag it somewhere here okay so right now it is for 100 percent let's let's for example it's for 100 percent so once we are done till here let us just test if it is working so i'll press uh, arrow key on the keyboard and you notice it's working but now the concern is it is even visible here we don't want it to show in this region so what we need to do is we need to create a mask for for that come to home tab and take a rectangle and draw a rectangle until its right side touches this boundary and make sure that your shape fill should be white in color or it should match with the background and make sure that you click no outline next right click here and make sure that you send it to back and also now select the red rectangle and click send to back also select your rectangle uh, the gray color here and click send to back now let us just preview if it is working so this is our task one and if i press arrow key you notice it's working fine so what i'm going to do now is since it's working fine i'll just copy it a couple of times and if required you need to do the same thing once again so select these two right click send to back and once again select these two click send to back now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the color of these so i think this is going to be blue and this is going to be how oh, this blue okay this is slightly green in color and let me just test this out so red is coming blue is coming and on third time green is coming so here we good to go and now what i'm going to do is so now it's time to draw the scales how i have drawn this scale is uh you can see the length of this rectangle is somewhere around 18 okay 17.5 which is close to 18 so what i'm going to do is i will uh, insert a shape or a rectangle some of random shape and i will change its width to somewhere around 4.5 now you, you might be wondering why it is, why it is 4.5 because for 18 50 percent will be 9 and the quarter for 18 percent will be 4.5 so i'll just hit enter and uh, somewhere here it's my first uh, scale point so i'll just put it a scale here and i'll make sure to change its color to black and its weight to somewhere around two and a half and now i'll press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll place it somewhere over here and i once again press ctrl d d and d so with that we'll get five lines and what i'm going to do is i will just right click and click send to back Oh, for the same this also sent to back and I will slightly move this this side so that it hides behind that bar this and I'll click uh, okay it's hiding behind that so no not an issue I'll just move it slightly this side okay so the same thing I will uh, paste uh, for the others also so oops I will press control and drag it press control and drag it and once again just drag it and make sure that you select all the new entities and right click send to back so with this our scale is almost ready just a minor adjustment here and there and we are good to go let me just preview here so right now all are going till 100 percent now it's time to create some percentages okay so how i created these boxes over here so let me just create one so come to uh, <clears throat> under home tab come to drawing and there you have shapes tool 
take rectangle the second one which has round corners and let me just draw one okay and i will change it somewhere like this so now i will take one more shape which is this isosceles triangle and i will draw it here and i will rotate it 180 degree and i will place it like this i will select both of these and it's your wish okay if you want to move it a little side also you can do but let me just do this way come to format merge shape and you make it union and i will take a, another text box so just for saving the time i will press control and drag this i will reduce the text size a bit and i will let's say 75 percent and i will reduce its size so i always press control so that i can reduce on both the sides 75 i will place it over here and let me just match this box to its dimension so that it's properly centered it looks fine to me i will change its color to white and uh, this one i will change its fill color to match uh, the theme so i think it's red with no shape outline and uh, let me just group this so i'll press ctrl g to group it and i will place it somewhere around 75 percent mark similar way i will just press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's say your second target is around 50 percent and third target is around 25 percent so let me just change this to 50 25 so like this and uh, let me just quickly change the color of this box so i'll just double click there and shape fill change it to uh, this dark teal and this one to the blue okay if you animate now you will notice that the bars are going to 100 percent however the tick marks are at uh, 75 50 and 25 so what i'm going to do is i'll select this come to animation tab and this red mark as you as you are know that this shows your final position so what i'm going to do i'll press shift and i'll move it to somewhere 75 i'll select this and choose the red mark and i will bring it to 50 and the blue one i will click the red mark and i'll bring it to 25 so now if i preview this you will notice so first uh, so first red color is going till 75 then 50 and then 25 so now next thing is how to animate these okay if you notice uh, they are there before itself so there is no mean of doing this animation because the user uh, the viewer know before itself that the task one is only 75 so what i'm going to do is i'll animate this so i'll just uh, use the animation tab float in then uh, float in float in and i'll apply the same to float in but now if you see animation first one comes second comes third comes but the texts are coming uh, in different orders so what you have to do is come to animation pane and now the group 55 will go after rectangle 13 like this now the order is fine now come to the group and we'll say you start with the previous itself or we can say after previous so after previous and after previous so let me just show you the final preview that we have created so task 1 75 task 2 50 and task 3 25 so that's all guys for today's tutorial and i hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, in the next couple of uh, videos they are they are going to be on the data series so let me just show you a quick preview how it's going to be so it's something like topic 1 25 percent topic 2 50 percent topic 3 76 oh, 65 percent and topic 4 is going to be 75%. So this is my next tutorial. Get update on this uh, when I upload the video. Uh, I request you to please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you very much.